Right, good evening YouTube. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm fucking deafening myself in here. Um, it's going to be a tobacco review this evening. Um, I'm going to be trying some Foreman's Private Flake that a, uh, a good friend and colleague, a good friend and customer of mine sent to me. Um, you may be wondering a little bit about the hat. Well, I, my sister's come up to see us. I mean, he wanted an excuse to go out in a, um, a new 4x4, basically. So we nipped down to Anchor, the uh, local government and army surplus place. And um, originally, I went in to buy a couple of ammo boxes to store a few odds and sods in. Um, so, you know, I always end up buying something pointless whenever I go to that place. I try and avoid going there like the plague. Um, I ended up buying a, uh, a police riot helmet for the whole of £10, yes, £10 for a riot helmet, um, I also picked up a load of other pointless bits of crap, a couple of ammo boxes, I got some um, some nice white silky type gloves, um, I almost bought a bomb disposal suit, glad my sister was there to, to kind of talk me out of it, but one thing I did pick up is uh, I did pick myself up a new knife, now, I don't have many interesting knives. I've got a couple of Swiss Army knives and a Leatherman's, and um, the one I use at work, which you've seen, that's freaking disgusting. So uh, while I was there, I thought I might as well pick one up. So I got myself a uh, a Jack Pike three and a half inch Stockman, um, complete camouflage, woodland camouflage, nice three and a half inch lockable blade on it. It is razor freaking sharp. Um, so I've got myself a new knife for box openings. So I spent £25 on a knife just to open boxes with. Why not, eh? 50 quid when all I really wanted was £10 worth of ammo crates. So uh, anyway, less of that. Um, ah. But on the plus side, I do now own one rather pointless and random piece of headwear. So, uh, bring on the riots again. Right, anyway, less of that. Let's get down to it. So, um, like I say, this is Foreman's, Foreman's Private Flake. Um, I know practically nothing about this tobacco at all. Um, again, I've not read up on it. I'll wait until after I've, uh, I've smoked it, and I'll find a little bit more out about it. Um... I'd say a good friend Mo sent this to me and he's been asking me when I'm going to crack it open. Oh! God, out of the tin that smells good. Um, it's got a lovely ripe kind of mature Virginia. I think there's some Perique in this. It's got that kind of like pungent, almost plummy sort of... Hang on, let me just adjust the lighting. It's got that kind of plummy almost fusty kind of aroma to it and oh god that smells good and you can see the crystallization of all the sugars out of the tobacco so there's obviously quite a lot of virginia in this but it has all crystallized um so there's obviously quite a bit of residual sugars added to this um you get this with a lot of uh, gowers lakeland flakes um some changes in temperature cause all the sugars to crystallize on the outside and it's uh, doesn't affect the tobacco at all, it just makes it look like it's uh, it's basically covered in ice and it's a bit frosty. Oh, even the paper out of the tin smells good. Um, it's kept its moisture reasonably well. Um, it is a smidge dry, but that's good because it's the right consistency to smoke. Mm. Now having never smoked this before, I've got no idea what the best method is, but this flake certainly does not want to stay together, so I'm going to pull it in half, prune off a few bits. Um, I'm smoking this in my uh, Parker Collection Smooth Canadian. Um, this did have a shell. This did have a shell briar finish. Uh, there's still a few, there's still a few marks on the bottom of it. Still, you probably can't really see it on here. Um, but now I spent a long time with a bit of sandpaper, sanded all this down, <clears throat> and revealed the grain. Um, it's not the most interesting 
not the most interesting grain pipe I've got, but uh, I do love this pipe. It's quite long, but it's very, very light. I mean, the, the walls, the walls of the bowl are quite thin, so um, it's got practically no weight to it at all. There is obviously imperfections in it. There's a few little cracks, bits where the briar's got a few like hairline lines and things like that in it, but it doesn't affect the way it smokes. Um, this is my Virginia Perique pipe. Um, mainly what I smoke through this is things like Dunhill Deluxe Navy Rolls, um, Orlex Bullseye, Garrus Louisiana Flake. I uh, don't particularly like too many Perique mixtures. Um, I'm a massive fan of Perique and Virginia, but to me, um, Germain's Royal Jersey Perique blend tastes like tastes and smells like sick. And the same with Peterson's Irish Oak. How the hell people can smoke that stuff amazes me. So we will load it up. Just introduce the Queen's face to it before we start. Very, very dry texture to it. Um, it's lovely and sweet. Uh, some slightly grassy, sort of herby kind of notes coming from it. And the perique gives it a little bit of a. I say, I'm assuming it's perique. Gives it a little bit of a spicy. A dry, spicy taste. not overly strong and even that brutal bit of smoking it then has made it warm but it's not it's not wanting to bite me quite just yet it's got subtle subtle complexity to it Say those grassy, like almost herby sort of notes. There's some sweet cedars there at the very, very start of the draw. But very nice through the nose. This is very, very nice. It's a German flake. And so far, I'm really enjoying this. The sweetness, almost some fruity kind of fruity moments to it. I think it burns pretty quickly as well. Oh no, that's just the charger that had burnt quite freely. more down to the uh, to the core of the thick of it now. Um, I didn't mention that when I packed. The way I pack a lot of flake tobaccos, which you may have seen bits of it, is I'll start with the flake and I'll break it so it's pretty much just shy of the depth depth of the bowl. And then I insert it long strand wise and give it a slight little push over. And then when you pack it down, it moves out, and once the tobacco is heating, it expands anyway. You get a lovely tight plug inside the pipe. Um, it's a ball eight to get lit, so again, as you probably saw, I take a very, very small amount, rub it out, pack it as a primer, charger, whatever you want to call it, on the top of the bowl. That's the way I pack most flakes. Um, works quite well with plugs as well. Um, the charger on the top is useful. But, God, this is gorgeous. 
has almost a acidic, not citrusy, but almost this slightly citrusy, acidic kind of tang on the finish. But the main essence of the flavour is lovely sweet Virginias. It is absolutely fucking beautiful. I say a lot of tobaccos are beautiful, but but this, God, it's only my first smoke of the stuff. I wouldn't have made me so eager for me to crack it open. I got a. Uh, also in the back that he sent me, I have a 2006 tin. Oh, where are we? McClellan's number 24 matured Virginia. I am also looking forward to this. It may wait a little bit longer. But I'll get around to it at some point. So, I've waffled on for 12 minutes and I've only just lit the damn thing. So I'm going to smoke a little bit more of this uh, and I shall be back as I get towards the end of the, end of the, end of, well, into the second half. Can't get me words out this afternoon. Thinking about riot helmets and a, uh, and my new knife so uh just waiting for a couple of packages so i can actually give this thing a bit of use and uh, hopefully i won't ever lose it if i use it outside so uh, i'll be back in a moment you take care folks and i shall return sometimes it pays to uh read about what you're going to be smoking um 